Hello friends, welcome to Srivali's kitchen. Now, I am going to show you a very interesting recipe. These, as you can see here, are the drumsticks. We call this Mulakkara in Telugu. So now we are going to prepare, not sambar, not rasin, but a pickle using these drumsticks. It's one of our favorite recipes and it is relatively easy, but you will need to wait for one or two days to completely prepare the pickle. For this we need drumsticks. I am taking four here. You can see that these are nice, fat, thick drumsticks. That is because if you take thinner ones, they don't have any flesh inside and they don't taste good. So if the drumsticks are this thick, they are going to have some nice uh, flesh or meat inside and it will be tasty to eat. Apart from them sticks, we need tamarind. Lots of it. Chili powder. Salt, of course. Some mustard seeds and fenugreek seeds or methi dana. This is for the next day. That we are just going to dry roast these and make it into a powder. I already have some powder. If you want, you can prepare this powder and store it in advance also. It will stay good. And lastly, you need some water. Yes, this water is not to add into the pickle, but we are going to heat this water, boil it for say around 3 to 4 minutes. Let it completely cool down. Add this tamarind into the water. Just dip it, wash it, and let this dry. We are doing it because tamarind, as we know, has lots of dirt, mud, and Lots of things stuck to it. We don't want any of those in our pickle. We don't want to eat dirt. We want to eat only the pickle. And if we use normal water, the chances of the pickle getting spoiled are high. So we're going to heat the water, let it cool down, and then do it. First, we're just going to start boiling the water. I'm going to put it on the stove. In the meantime, what we are going to do is we are going to cut the drumsticks into half inch or one inch pieces. That's up to you. If you want, you can have longer pieces also. But shorter pieces look good. So we're just going to take this here. Stop the tips. While you are at it, you can just remove some Pull it over so that see this is the size. It's almost like how you cut your beans. All right, we're just going to cut these drumsticks. Cut all the drumsticks in a similar manner. Get the pieces ready, and we are going to put these in sunlight. We don't want to use the direct pieces directly as these are. Why? The water cools down and we wash the tamar and let it sit for a few minutes and everything. We are going to let these sit directly in the sunlight for about half an hour to one hour depending on how hot the sun is. Then we are going to see a slight change in the texture. They are going to look a little dried up. Not much but just a little dried up and that is when we are going to come, go to the next step. All right. So I'm just going to cut the remaining drumsticks while the water starts to boil. So the water has come to a boil. I'm going to turn off the heat and let this cool. Here we have the drumstick pieces nicely ready. And yes, before you actually cut the drumstick into pieces, you have two options. One is either you can wash the drumstick uh, wipe it with a dry cloth and let it completely go dry by leaving it alone for say half an hour or something or you can take a wet cloth wipe the drumstick nicely with it take a dry cloth wipe it again let it sit for five minutes then cut it into pieces and of course put it in sunlight either way you will have to let these sit in the sunlight because we don't want the entire moisture 
to remain when the drumstick. We want a little of it to get evaporated so that the pickle will stay for a longer duration. The pickle can stay good for almost say you know three to four months also. I'm going to transfer this outside, put it in sunlight and then after say half an hour or probably 45 minutes because it isn't really that sunny uh, I'm going to show you how these look this, is going to just, this will just start to wither a little that's it and by, by that time the water is going to cool down or in the meanwhile if the water cools down I'm going to get the tamarind also ready so now these are ready to go into the sunlight right so I just brought the plate inside I put these out for around half an hour you can see these have just dried up a little the edges have gone a bit dry here you can see it the reason we are doing it is because we don't want these to have too much moisture right if you want you can let it sit for another half an hour also the law there's no pro problem with that here we have the boiled water which is totally cooled down to this we are going to add the tamarind right just going to kind of wash it take another clean dish keep it ready because you're going to wash the tamarind and you're going to transfer it to the clean dry dish You'll have a little more cleaning to do because you need to remove things like these from the tablet. You can see all these strands. Not every or every strand, but the longer or the thicker ones. Because the base of this pickle is the tamarind pulp. So wash it nicely, make sure there's no dirt. You don't have to worry about throwing away this water because you can strain this water and use it to me as a base for your rasam or sambar or you can add it to curries also so you don't have to worry about wasting this water or just you can store it in your refrigerator use it when you want when you want to prepare your rasam or sambar that's what we are going to do today I'm going to strain this and add some more water to this and prepare rasam okay if you want the rasam recipe you will find it in the link you will find it in the description box basically. Now you can see the tamarind here. We're going to remove this. Yes. And one more thing is that if you're going to prepare this pickle, be ready to like wait for three days because this is a day by day process. We're going to add the drumsticks to it. And just going to, you can mix it up. Right, I've added half the drumsticks. Now I'm going to measure. This is my measuring glass. This is around probably 100 grams. So I'm going to add the chili powder and I'm going to add salt. We're going to add the salt and red chili powder only today because we have another process tomorrow. So taste it today. Keep it ready because tomorrow what we're going to do is tomorrow or maybe even day after you can let it sit for two days also. It's only going to taste better. We're going to separate the drumsticks from the tamarind mix. And we're going to grind the tamarind paste, uh, tamarind and the and these into a powder. I mean, I'm sorry, into a pulp. Nicely grind it into a pulp. Add the powder of roasted mustard and fenugreek seeds and temper it.
we are going to take some mixing because you want the flavors to kind of get mixed up. It's better to use your hand. But yes, make sure to wash your hands properly and apply some oil or body lotion immediately. You don't want your skin to burn. You know, get itchy and red. Mix it all up. Taste this. Add more salt and vegetable powder if required. And let this sit for one or two days. Even after we are done with the process tomorrow, uh, you can taste it immediately or you can let it sit for another one or two days so that it's going to kind of, the flavors are going to kind of get marinated really nice and even the drumsticks will taste good, you know, it takes time for the drumsticks to absorb, absorb these flavors. There is another process in this where the drumsticks are kind of fried in oil and then added to this. But what happens there is that these don't stay intact. The drumsticks break, the seeds come out and, it, and the pickle kind of gets totally messy. So we are using raw ones which are kind of sun dried a little. We are just going to taste it. Add more powder if required and mix it up. If you want uh, the exact measurements, you can visit the link in the description. I'll write down the measurement, but then of course, it will depend on the hotness of the red chili powder and your personal taste also. So that you can follow the standard basic measurements. Uh, we are going to let this sit for one or two days, that's up to you, it depends on how impatient you are, but one day is minimum. You can let it sit for two or even three days also, that's absolutely fine, but it has to sit for one day. This is going to change the color a little, you will see that tomorrow. It's going to be in the same video, so you can just continue watching this video. No issues there. Let's just wait. Cover it with a plate. Put it in a corner. That's it. Make sure there is no dampness, no moisture, no water anywhere near this bowl. That's very important. Just keep, just keep it away, safe from water, dampness, moisture, and kids. That's it. <laughs> so, after 24 hours, this is what we have here. We let it sit yesterday, we mix, gave it a good mix and let it sit for the entire day. Uh, once in the evening, I just gave it a mix. So you can see that the drumsticks have ch uh, changed their color, they have turned dark green, a little darker. Uh, the inside of the drumstick, you know, the flesh of the drumstick is also changing color, which, which means it is soaking up the flavors. Now what we have to do is we are going to separate the drumsticks from all this pulp. That is because we are going to grind this pulp into a smoother paste. So we are just going to remove the drumsticks and just clean it, take it into another empty box. At the same time if you got somebody else with you, you can get the mustard seeds and fenugreek methi seeds dry roasted this is around uh, one tablespoon of each just dry roasted till they change color till the fenugreek seeds you know the methi dhana changes color then let it cool down grind it into a powder keep it aside you can make this powder in say uh, medium sized batches store it in an airtight container and it will stay good for around 20-25 days even a month you can add it to pickles like tomato pickle, drumstick pickle amla pickle so 
wax powder so it's going to stay good also so see we, you can see that this is starting to kind of the mustard is starting to change color we want the methi seeds to change color basically because otherwise they're not going to taste good okay while this is going on here you can see that we are separating the sticks gram sticks from the pulp yeah the mustard starting to pop the methi is also starting to change color and other maybe 30 seconds more and then we can turn off the heat let this cool and grind it into a powder doesn't take much time easy to sort it out you can see this is almost done we are going to turn off the heat here you can hear the mustard crackling and popping keep stirring this otherwise half of the seeds are going to be blackened and another half are going to stay raw right so this is going to keep let this cool down so we are going to keep it aside now here you can see it is almost done we just have a few more sticks left in the pulp during the same time you can remove any of those long strands of tamarind as well so yes it's done Uh, you can even grind the mustard seeds and methi seeds first, and then in this, uh, remove the powder onto a small into a small box or a plate. Then grind this pulp, or you can use two different jars. That's totally up to you. But since we'll be doing it in the same jar, I'm just going to wait for uh, two to three minutes. Let the seeds cool down enough, and then I'm going to grind it into a powder. So you can see that I have ground it into some this powder. Now I'm going to take the powder into a different plate. Right, I just want to leave it under it. But you don't have to take it all over. If there is anything remaining, you can leave it in the jar itself because we'll anyway be adding this to the pickle. So uh, this remaining stuff, I'm going to keep it as it is in the jar. Now to the same jar, I'm going to add the pulp. This is going to take some time to grind because it's a thick lump of tamarind and powder. So this is going to take some time. You just have to be a little patient and careful as well when you're grinding this and you're going to close it and start grinding so you can see here it's become into different textured paste what I've done was since uh, the blades weren't rotating freely because I've added too much of the pulp at once I've removed half the quantity so I'm grinding it in two different sections this is the first batch to which I added about two spoons of the of this powder, grinded it, gave it a good mix, grinded it again, again. So now I'm going to take this into a bowl and then I'm going to add the remaining pulp and grind it again. So we're doing it in two batches. Right, so you can see here how it looks. I'm going to grind the second batch of this as well and then I'm going to add a tempering. It's a very simple tempering. You need to just add just mustard seeds, some cumin seeds and garlic and hemp. For those who do not eat garlic, just 
I'm not using garlic. So I'm going to add a little more of the powder. I'm going to keep a little aside. So that I'm going to see if I need to add it in the last. Now I'm going to grind this back as well and add it to the main mix. Alright, so I've just mixed up the pulp with the drumstick sticks. Check it for taste and then add the remaining powder. Mine tasted good, so I'm not adding the balanced powder. Here at the same time I've got oil ready. You need a good amount of oil because if you want it to sit longer without getting spoiled, you need to add oil. Now that the mustard is starting to bubble, I'm going to add the garlic cloves. If you want, you can add cumin seeds as well. And for those who do not eat our garlic, just omit. These are peeled garlic cloves. Add a good quantity of asafoetida things. If you happen to have blocks of things, that's much better. You can see the garlic swimming and oil. Once these turn into a light brown color and the mustard seeds pop, I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to add this into the pickle mix. can see. Right. The garlic is changing color. Uh, if you want, you can brown the garlic as well. I don't like it too brown, so I'll probably turn off the heat once the mustard starts to splatter. That's almost done. Here you can see the mix, the drumsticks and the base. Uh, just make the tempering to this. Give it a nice mix. Uh, let it sit for some time. Store it in an airtight box away from sunlight or any kind of dampness or humidity. It's going to stay good for 3 to 4 months. You don't have to put it in the refrigerator. That is the reason we are adding a good quantity of oil to it. You can either serve it after a few hours or you can serve it the next day. It's entirely up to you. The longer it sits, the more the drumsticks get marinated. But even the fresh ones have a kind of bite and taste to it. So it's going to good, taste good anyway. I'm just going to kind of pour it all over, kind of like this, in a circular motion. Now it's up to you if you want to use a spoon or your hand. It's entirely your choice. You just have to mix it nicely. have to let the oil be steeped and absorbed by the tamarind paste and the drumsticks as well. The drumsticks are going to take some time to absorb oil, but the tamarind pulp is going to just drink it in. So we just going to mix the up nice. And then you can just let it cool for some time since we've added hot oil to it. Once this cools down, turn it in an airtight box. Mix it. This mixing is very important, so you don't want to do it half as badly. 
this make sure you mix it completely totally let the oil be soaked by the paste right now since this is done you can see it's kind of got a gloss you know shine to it that's because of the oil i'm going to take it into a serving bowl just to show it to you and then i'm going to uh, store it in an airtight container right so here you can see drumstick pickle is ready to serve you can serve this with rice uh, roti paratha dosa uttappa and i mean it's up to you with your choice but this is going to taste absolutely good with rice and paratha drumstick pickle ready to eat you can even see that the garlic cloves here the you know the drumstick is being marinated even as we speak they are going to be nice and juicy little fleshy with a good bite to it thank you for watching and if you like my videos do subscribe to srivali's kitchen that is you just have to click the red button below with say subscribe on it and you'll be subscribed to my youtube channel named srivali's kitchen have a nice day